Hey, Paul Fontaine here from Keller Williams. Looking to move to Philadelphia or just wanting to learn more about the city? We'll review all the pros and cons. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to discuss Philadelphia and all its pros and cons. So let's get started. So a con is parking. It tends to suck. You can get a parking permit, which is a really good deal though. Parking permits can be obtained by mail, or you can go in person to the permit office of the Philadelphia Parking Authority at 35 North 8th Street, near 8th and Market Street. If you have any questions or to request an application, you can give them a call at 215-683-9730 or check out their website, philapark.org. If you want to pay for monthly parking, on average you'll probably pay 200 to 400 plus per month, depending on the location and if it's an outside lot or if it's an inside garage. So this one's a pro and a con, education and schools. On one hand, we have some of the top universities in the nation, including Ivy League University of Pennsylvania, along with great schools like Temple University, Drexel, Villanova, that's in the Philly suburbs, and many more. As for a con, our elementary and high schools are getting better and better, but many still have a long way to go. The Philadelphia School District has 132,520 students in grades pre-K and K-12, to with a student-teacher ratio of 17 to 1. According to state test scores, 22% of students are at least proficient in math and 37% in reading, giving this district an overall C- grade, which is passing, but not by very much. There are some very good public and private schools in Philadelphia. It's just challenging at times to get your child into those schools, either because they're full or they're quite expensive. Hey, by the way, if you'd like a free Philadelphia relocation guide or first time home buyer guide in Philadelphia, please email me at the address below. I'll be more than happy to send that to you. Okay, back to our list. A pro, LGBTQ equality. It's called the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection for a reason. The Human Rights Campaign has created a series of indexes and reports on the status of LGBTQ equality in the United States. And their latest Municipal Equality Index details the rankings of all cities in 50 states. Philadelphia landed a perfect score of 100, I'm happy to say. In addition, the mayor has an LGBTQ liaison office for the city and also for the police force. Another con, and it's a big one, is poverty. At almost 25%, the share of the city's households living below the federal poverty line has decreased slightly from previous years, but remains the highest of the 10 largest U.S. cities. And the nearly 380,000 Philadelphians living in poverty serve to be a reminder to all of us the magnitude of this situation. Check out this information regarding how Philadelphia compares to other cities. Okay, back to pros. A pro, the world-class art galleries, plus check out the street art. Let's start with the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Plus, as an added bonus, you get to run up the rocky steps and take a picture in front of the statue. Also, the city has an unrivaled mural program that attracts some of the best artists in the world. Here are some of the amazing murals you can check out if you're in the city. Another pro, we have a smaller carbon footprint since Philadelphia is the fourth most walkable city in the country. You can walk to almost anywhere within city limits in an hour or less. Philadelphia's walk score is 78, compared to a city like Los Angeles, which is only 66. New York is at the top at 88, but Philadelphia's bike score tops New York's by three points. Another pro is affordability for a big city. Cost of living in Philadelphia is 13.7% higher than the national average. But if you compare our cost of living versus other major cities, we're pretty much a bargain. With New York City and San Francisco at 80 something percent higher than the national average, and neighboring cities such as Washington DC and Boston at 50 something percent above the national average, that makes Philadelphia's 13.7 percent pretty good for the sixth largest city in the country. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment, I would love to receive your comments, and as always, I promise to reply. Thank you as always for listening, have a great day, and remember to call Paul. Thanks, bye-bye.